It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph is part of Santa's special team of magical reindeer who pull his sleigh around the world on Christmas Eve. Hello, Rudolph. You don't seem to be your usual self today. What seems to be the matter? Are you telling me you can't fly, Rudolph? Hmm, we have to fix that, don't we? So you can deliver all the presents to good girls and boys on Christmas Eve. Maybe, instead of eating that grass, Robbo can make you some magical reindeer food to give you that Christmas spirit again. Some magical reindeer food coming right up. Here we go. Amazing! You look better already, Rudolph. Let's see if you can fly now. Can you take a big leap again? Brilliant, Rudolph! Look at them go! Merry Christmas, Santa! Merry Christmas, Rudolph! Ho, ho, ho! Wow! Thank you for the present, Santa. I'm glad Rudolph is feeling much better. Here comes our first patient, Twinkle the Robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called Robin Redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Chilly, the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chilly, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chilly is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just aren't used to being indoors in warm places. Emperor penguins just like you All have fat and feathers too That's to keep you warm, you know When you play out in the snow Sledging down the icy hill You don't ever feel the chill You have lots to keep you warm Even in a big snowstorm Yes, it's true what I've been told Where you're from, it's very cold In the Antarctic you are not Now you're feeling far too hot Just to keep you cold and nice We've, we've made, made you this coat of ice This will keep you nice and cool When you're feeling hot in school This coat is made of ice which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. 
Most ants are worker ants, and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen, and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello, Alice. What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh, I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own, you're making life more tricky. Whereas you could make it known that you need a little help, and your friends can clearly see a helping hand is welcome. Work together, that's the key. Share the load, it's going to help each one of you. wonders and you can work as one on your own you get frustrated and you can't get to the end don't carry all the world if your back is going to bend share the load it's going to help each one of you So, there you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done! You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work! Here comes Boris the Pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah, shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have 
have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm. Let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three. Three beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy.